Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker A high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are again. Yes, sir. We're, we're getting her done. Yeah, we are getting her done now. <laughs> I tell you what, Jerry, we've got such a full show today that in some announcements to make that we're going to go ahead and do a commercial break and come back with some announcements and then go into some good victory passes. Some wonderful victory passes, probably. All right. We'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Spring Fun Show will be held May 26th through the 28th at the Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. This premier three-night show promises to be fun and entertaining, so bring the whole family. From the time the first horse enters the ring until the last horse takes its victory pass wearing the championship class blue ribbon, you will be treated to the best the walking horse industry has to offer. Join us starting May 26th at Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. For more information, call 931-684-5915. Why do each one? So uh, get your cat off from here, spin yourself with the rules. Want everybody to know the rules of the games we're here today? So! 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 Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call, put it down to it, done. So, so, you bought me 2600, 2600 here, and then 5600 and a half. 5600, down to that five here, 6. So, 5500, you bought a 5500 and a half. So, 1100, Mark Hall, take it, call 1100, you bought. So, 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 you bring one, bring the next one. That's a real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse. Take it home. Right that said is but so 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 about it. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of what a horse. Coming up. Welcome back. Jerry, I got a couple of uh, announcements. One of them real good. First fun show, 26th through the 28th, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Contact celebration, 931-684-5915. Start time, 6 o'clock. Lee Boyd, Derek Bonner, and Jamie Bradshaw will mark the cards. And there's another announcement. This is a good one. Our good buddy James Abernathy is getting married oh. to a pretty young lady. I wonder if she'll let him shoe her horses. 
Maybe so. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe, maybe, maybe so. so. But Ray Tyser, she is something else, buddy. But she, right here is a pair of aces. Oh, yeah. She's a, Ray Shoe Mate Tyser. No doubt a, about that's it. That's a perfect couple right there. Well, they, they'll be good for the horse they industry. They will. They will be. We know they'll be at shows anyway. I spent a lot of time with both of them before. <laughs> hey, they're good people. Mm -hmm. Real they're good really people. Good. Now, I need everybody to stop and say a prayer for our good buddy, Tim Gray, he uh, he had a an accident. Yes. And a long time horse train. Matter of fact, we got a little video we're going to show. I tell you, Tim is a good one. He can ride a horse too. Oh, tell me about it. Well, what did he, they said he was. Working on trees or something, and a cutting grass and yeah. them hindi. Yeah, hurt his leg real bad. I tell you what, to get hit in the leg, and go to the hospital now. You 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 know it's nothing to laugh about. Oh no, it's not. Tim is. But we sure want everybody to pray for him because Tim's a good one. He now. is. He's a real he's good guy. I was, super I had, good. I had good chances. It's been a lot. Pretty good little while with him and helping him and stuff like that, and learned a lot from him. Well, him and Billy were a, were a team. That's yes. a father and son duo right there. Super good. Yep. But I want everybody to pray for Tim because he's he's a good guy. He's in Bedford County Hospital, and we will keep everybody posted on Facebook and whatnot. All right, what all is going on? I tell you what, this past weekend was two great shows. You you went to you get I to went go to, to I ain't go to one on Friday night, but I went to one on Saturday night. But I'm gonna tell you, I seen the ones on T V mm -hmm. on Friday night and they was outstanding oh, shows. There's some good classes yeah, down there. Good classes. I watched some of those on both nights and, and Bob Roach, you did a great job. Matter of fact, Bob shared some of his video with us so yeah. we can show some of them today which which I do appreciate. Bob Bob covers more shows but he's a lot younger than I am. <laughs> He's, Bob he's had a good retired. chance to see two good shows this weekend. Uh, it was two I good shows. You, that that up in Survival was real good. Yes. I'll tell you something else, though. Everybody's talking now about selling horses and all this, and, and we're, we're going to go through different things that are required when you sell your horses. Yeah. But like this horse bay, they require an inspection and everything. So I got to thinking that that would be something good to let everybody know exactly what kind of inspection that our horses go through. So let's take a look at this inspection done by Dr. Bennett. So we're doing a physical exam on a walking horse today, which is different than a pre-purchase exam. A physical exam is making sure that physically he's in good shape. It's kind of like me and you going to the doctor annually for a checkup. So we're going to take him out and get a weight on him and see where we're at. This is Kayla. She'll be helping me. All right. I'm going to say 964. How's that? 954. It's 964. That's pretty close. That's pretty good. Hair coat looks good. You can palpate his ribs. You can't see them, so that looks good. I like to get in front of him here and just kind of look at symmetry. And you can get a lot of uh, information just right here at the head. A lot of your cranial nerves, um, your optic nerve, the olfactory nerve with the nose. Facial nerves coming down. See, there's no paralysis or paresis. We check his teeth here. Check his color. That gives us an idea of how his circulation is. So what we want to do, if you want to zoom in here, is I'm going to push on this and count 1,001, 1,002. See, it goes right back. So he's got good circulation. Just make sure his skin's in good shape. No tumors. Yeah. Make sure everything's good. 
So I'm going to pull some blood on him, let it be running, just like they do when you go to the doctor. And this is Mike, he's helping me too. All right, can you run that for me? All right. We'll just go check his vision here. Also want to look at his eyelids, make sure there's no problem there, that his eyelids are good, they're not rubbing on the eyeball. No signs of any tumors. Make sure you can see good. And there again, looking for any kind of asymmetry there. So that all looks good. Then we're just going to listen to him. Getting a heart rate. Making sure there's no murmurs. Then we'll listen to his lungs. Then we're going to listen for gut sounds. We'll check all four quadrants, as we call it, in the abdomen here for normal intestinal sounds. Okay. So like you go to the doctor and they ask you to take a deep breath so they can listen. We can't really get horses to do this, do that, so this is my approach. It looks like we're suffocating him, but we're not. We're going to let that stay on just a little bit. And then Mike's going to pull it off and that's going to let him really pull the air in so I can hear those lungs really good. Okay, take a deep breath. So that makes the horse breathe deep, so just like there again, you go to the doctor and they have you breathe in, breathe out. So we're going to check his legs here. There again, just making sure we don't have any swelling, anything blemish-wise that we see. You can see this horse is probably do a reset just by looking at his foot. So we're good there. Same thing in the back. Make sure he likes to be flexed. And also as a gild, and we like to check his sheath, make sure that's good. And it's good. His old castration scars have healed. You can see everything palpates good. It's a pretty nice horse. There again, just do a reset. Check him out. All right, let me get the hoof testers. So on a good physical exam, I like to make sure I've touched about every part of his body to make sure everything's okay. Going to hoof test him here, make sure nothing's abnormal. We're good there. Same thing on the back feet. Go 
go to the other side. It's one thing you gotta love about walking horses, they're very cooperative and easy to work around. And you can see there again, nothing major. You just do a reset. See how the frog's trying to shed a little bit there. Overall, he's pretty good, physically in good shape. So don't get confused with a physical exam versus a lameness exam. There's, there's a difference. So on this, we're just trying to make sure the horse is healthy, which he is, very good shape. I got drag marks out there now. Yeah. Because that, that, that coat that we carried over there, yeah. it took me down. I tripped that. He took me about over 10, 15 feet. I said, it kind of rough on me. We should have got that a little bit on video right there, Jerry. Well, someone asked me, Bobby Beach asked me if I had video of that, and I said, no, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go look at some inspect. No, we've done seen inspections. We're going to go to the tennis show and see some victory passes. Yeah. All right. That was a good show, Jerry. Oh, that was a good show. They, uh, for the first one, they did good. Here we go, Polly Gray and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Good things ahead for this two-year-old. Oh, yeah. She got a big future ahead of her. I believe she does. Now she look at, she's looking good, getting it done. I know Shane's awful proud of her. She can wear that brow too. That's what I like. One yeah. thing I like about her way she sits, she sits up in the bridle. Brow. Yeah. Right here, you 17. I tell you what, she was reserved, but she was in there with the big girls. Yes. Yeah. Big boys and big girls. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. She is learning some valuable lessons that you can't win all the time. You can have a good horse, but you can't always win. Yeah. Well, it just make them want to ride a little harder next time they show. Oh, yeah. Well, it makes them learn, too. Yeah, make them learn. They'll learn. They'll say, well, you got covered up. Make them kids want to get out there and ride by herself. And evidently, Lee Stewart's been telling her that because she's away from everybody. Yep. <laughs> Lee is a good director. Oh, she's something else now. Right here is her father, Grayton Beach and Jake Jacobs. Right here is another. This is an amateur four-year-old Mary Gilding class. That Grayton Beach is tough. Yeah, does it so easy. Yeah. That's one thing a lot of people don't, they, they, they don't realize everything about these horses. I was talking to a lady today and I was telling her different things we had to watch for and look for. And uh, she, she didn't realize that. Yeah. But I love them when they, they just look like they're doing it easy, like real smooth. Comfortable, you yeah. know, he just sitting there just having a joy ride. Right here's Honor's Image. That right there is something else. So that's a four-year-old open winner. That's gonna be a, you're gonna be tough in that class. Oh, we Shane got, got a pretty good selection some, of horses. Yes, now. he does. He He's does got some good horses. horses. We, we, we are blessed with a lot of real good horses yes. that can flat get it done and look good doing it. That's a major, major thing right there is getting it done and making it look easy yes. while you're getting it done, yep. and, and they do. All right, we're gonna move right along and go to another commercial because we got a whole lot more video we got to go over, and we without our sponsors, we wouldn't be here, so yeah, we gotta do right. that. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. 
Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winter circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winter circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, Jerry, you uh, you went to the Alabama show. You was down there too, weren't you? No, I didn't get to go to the Alabama show. You didn't go to the show. Alabama no, show. No. I'm going to tell you, they, they had some good classes down there. They they uh, really nice horses. They uh, I, I was real pleased with it. Seemed like they got everything done in a timely manner. Yeah. But there was a lot of real good horses. And that, I mean, that's, when, when you go to a show and, and you have a bunch of good ones. It makes it so much more fun. Oh yeah, it is a lot of fun when you see a bunch of good horses and stuff like that, and people, and just having fun. Yeah. Well, you saw a bunch this weekend. And yes, it was I, see them, I, I know. See a lot of good horses, that, a lot of people, and stuff like that. The video I watched, there was some, there was some pretty tough classes yeah, in there. Some real good horses. I know Sarah Coffey won a good one. Yes. And and. Well, Jeremy was reserved in a real good, good class. So. Yes, there was a lot of good you classes. Had a, real, a bunch of good top horses that was there too. You know, it ain't just your run the mill horses. I mean, almost every one of them classes had some some, some good ones some in there. Good ones in there. What I liked is they had the pros in there with the amateurs. amateurs yeah. That was good too. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, before we go there, we're going to go to the eleventh Alabama Auxiliary Show, right here, lead line. He has lost that horse forever. Yep. He can think what he wants to, but I got news for you, Roy Wester. That horse is gone. That young lady has done stole him. He's the whole shebang, and Mackenzie Wester wins the lead line. And that's Miss Lawrence leading. Yes. Now, she's a heck of a rider. She is a good rider. They turned her loose for that little Mackenzie, and before long, Mackenzie be up there showing up Roy. Oh yeah. <laughs> good deal, Mackenzie. You did good, huh? Right here, I was really impressed with this horse right here. I'm busting loose. She, uh, Kelly showed that horse in the night before 
at the rock pile and was reserved. Turned right around, carried him to Alabama and won. And I'm here to tell you that was, that alone is beat because you're talking about a horse this age showing back-to-back -back nights. It just goes show for the training and the condition of the horse. Oh, you're exactly right. That's a beautiful horse, and Kelly does a great sh job you know, of showing it. They're athletes, and that's what they are. They're that's real it. top athletes. There you use 12 to 17 winner Super Bowl MVP in BB Beasley. I tell you, both them young ladies can ride. They do. They sit a horse well. They get out there and get it done. B.B. and Maxine. This is B.B. and Super Bowl. Yep. Right here is quite an honor and Beth Beasley. Beth made a post that there's just something about this mare that was special right. and uh, I have to agree with her. I went back and watched the entire show several times and uh, that's just a good mare right there. Real good mare. Yep. And that, I believe that's the first time that she's shown it. Uh, John Allen normally shows that mare. What I call getting it done, Beth. All right. And we got some more video, but now we're going to go into this weekend. We're going That's, to see. I yeah. can't wait to watch this. I share with my eyeglasses so I can watch it again. I watched it one time. I want well, Bob, Bob has got, got some classes, or all of them posted up there on his website. And he was good enough to let us use these or borrow the video, which I, I really appreciate. He, uh, he got it done. But I watched this one right here. As soon as I saw that horse right there, I knew exactly who it was because that Miss Dixie Carter is just one fine horse. Yep. And Taylor, I could put her, pick her out on a horse because she is, she, she sets a horse a certain way and does a great job of riding. Yep. Miss Dixie Carter won this class. Janie B. Good was reserved with Amanda Carver. And I have another shady, Tammy Barclay was third. But I'm gonna tell you, there could have been seven or eight more horses in there and I believe that one right there would have still walked out of there with a blue ribbon because she was that good. She is a real good mare, real good. Reckon how old that mare is now? She five, five or six? Yeah, she should be about five or six. I know she's been, she's been, good, she's been a good mare. She's been with, a good mare from ever since she first started. Yeah. Wow. I know we, through the years, we've had some great mares, and she's showing that she's very well capable of being one of them. And she just got that way of going. Yeah. Good timing. Jamie Lawrence judged that show. Everybody's been making comments about the job he did. Said he judged a good show down there. Yeah. Jamie can judge a good show. Yeah, he can. I've seen him judge quite a few. He does a good job. He watch a horse when he come around there, regardless on what he's doing and what gate he's doing. When he come in front of him, he watch him in front of him. He watches to see exactly how he's doing. That's right. Right there she is, Miss Dixie Carter and Taylor Walters, Bar Taylor Walters. Amateur ladies winner. That's two ladies right there. Yep.
good deal, Taylor. Now I'll tell you what, and she has always worked hard, real hard, in doing a good job of riding. Jimmy says she's practicing every day there at one time just to get to where she could canter properly. Right here's your three-year-old mares and gildings. This was another good, good one. I am Lady Whoop and Casey Wright took the blue in this one for Debbie and Billy Wood. Like them people, they're good people. The Black Crim and Sam Martin was reserved. American Dream, Blaze Bacard. And I think that's Yellowstone's American Dream. That, it's got a YS in, in front of it. Shady's Busting Loose, Edgar Abernathy. And I'm OJ. Dan Waddell finished out the ribbon. I just wanted to show this class because there was so many good ones in yes. there. They're getting a good job done. There's Casey. Well, as his daughter said, I asked her, said, hey, how do you get so many good two-year-olds? I guess he's just a good picker. <laughs> Casey and Michael do real good with them horses. They do. I mean, now they, they've they known them for a long time, and I mean, they always been real successful in the horse business. I see Casey's a little boy won his first class down there, too. Yeah. Edgar rides a bunch of good horses. I mean, all of them guys right there in that class have a bone full of pretty good horses. Well, you know, I was looking, I, I've offered one of my mares for sale. And uh, I look back and, and every one of her offsprings has made it to the show ring with the exception of one. And that was the one that about six months old, something happened out in the pasture. It wasn't quite six months, and uh, she just dropped dead. Wolf, so it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a strange thing happened. All the rest of them made show ring. Yes. Right here, amateur five-year-old winner, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. I tell you what, that horse looked good. Yeah. Taylor's been showing him and and uh, getting more used to him, and the the use the more she rides him, the better she's getting with him. And he put on a well of a show down there. He's picking him up and putting him down right there. That horse has got a gait that just, but but he's he's got that timing with yeah. head shaking and. Everything's going together. Like he's saying, get out of my way, here I come. Good job, Taylor. Real good job. All right. Then we went to the Smokies. So we're going to show some video of that, too. Because I'm going to tell you, we've, we've had a, to me, we've had a good weekend. Oh, yeah. Real good weekend. A lot of good things going on. Real good This person right here is a show pleasure. And I'm going to tell you this. This is Gildan. It sure is. I forgot I snuck that in there. Yeah. It, this is one that Jeremy got reserve in. Reserve. Sure is. This is a good class of that. That was Hayden Ryan, that was right Jeremy Ryan right there. Jeremy made a good show up there. I'm going to have to say I that now. I won't fuss at the judge because he tied a good horse. Yeah, he did. But, he did. He uh, tied a good horse. but Jeremy, Jeremy made an awful good show. Yeah. I tell Henry's you what, doing a good job. Yeah. I tell you what, a lot of our young trainers 
are doing real good, and I am tickled to death for them. The Hayden and Tanner, and these two brothers are doing a real good job on showing them horses. But Jeremy, he's, he's coming on real good. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of him. He does a good job. I, I watch him ride out the barn now. He, 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 you can tell his wheels are turning when he's riding. Oh, he think, he think about them horses all the time. I think Jennifer out there was kind of riding him a little bit. <laughs> he told me she was fussing on him. She's wanting him to do one thing, he's doing another. And I tell you is, I'm a jazz master. That's a real good horse there. I'm gonna tell you, one of the easiest horses you ever want to see ride right there. Is that step? That's a gilded though. Yeah, it's gilded. Raiders Barbecue and Mike Wilhelm Trucking. Yep. Well, if I was y'all, I'd be asking Prater to bring me the barbecue. <laughs> he, oh, he got some good barbecue now. Yes, he does. He, he does real good. Yeah. He has songwriters night to where them songwriters go in there, uh -huh. and they like it. <laughs> this right here was a good class. That part before, that horse right there, look, look at that. Slow walk. Slow walk. That's a I mean, he just, he just, I love it. I don't care what they say. When you got one that's got that slow walk, head bobbing, and then he comes on up into yeah. it. That's right there. Now, he's a nice horse. That's, and this was an open class, too. You know, yeah. he's showing against them trainers in there, too. Well, you could tell there when, when he was bringing him up, it horse just went right into it. Oh, Hayes, he really liked him. To show them horses. His mom does a good job on showing too. They really into these horses. Well, I tell you what, that right there is a nice place to have horse shows. Yeah, now, it is. My hat goes off to Jimbo. He's done a great job up there. Yeah. He really has. You know, <coughs> old Hayes that showed in his class. He drive in. I think he works up way off, and he drives in for these horse shows, and meet his mom at the horse shows and show. Is that right? Yeah. Well, he does a good job now. I mean, yeah. he's in there. He's in there with the big boys, and he didn't take a backward step. No. Uh -huh. he got, from the looks of it, he's got a real good set of hands. He do. He got a real good set of hands. What that? Old time trainer Dude Crowder raised that coat. You saw him. I can tell you right now, Hayes, my hat goes off to you, son. I think you did a splendid job. Leaving a ring in style too. And here's a show pleasure. Escapee and Heidi Mott took the blue. A sleepless night. And Israel Condi, if I mispronounce that, I apologize. It's Chico DeMayo, Chesley Harvey, Dance Time in Texas, Brandon Gibbons, and Schofield. Keith Bicknell finished out the ribbon. This is another open class that I am to ride in. Mm -hmm. That's a, I'm going to tell you now. This escapee horse is a talented son of a gun. It looks like, you know, that that horse also won down in Alabama. Yeah. And uh, I thought he was outstanding down there. I, I just wished I'd have got a hold of Heidi when she won that one, but I, but I didn't, and that was my misfortune because the horse looked great. And this height is really first year coming back from showing for years and years without. Well, she, she told me the first time in 25 years. Yep. So that's a, a good welcome back. And when she came back, she came back on some good horses. And the thing of it is, this horse, the SKB horse, that's why you'll never say a horse is too old to get stolen. This horse wasn't stolen until you're four years old. It, is that right? Yep. He wasn't broke until you 
Well, I can tell you one thing, she can ride. Yeah, now, she can ride. She knows what she's doing. And here's your winner, Escapee. Jerry, this horse right here. You say they didn't start training him till he was four, four years old. And she made in Alabama, she made a great show down there, a great victory pass. The whole nine yards, she was good from start to finish. No doubt about it. And Heidi doesn't look like she's missed 25 years or so. That's right. She's, um, I'm going to tell you, she's a talented person. She really loved these horses to death. Her husband, real nice supporter, you know. Well, that's, that's the main thing. The husband's got to be a supporter. But when you got a horse like this, he's something else. You could, it's just like she just continued on. You're exactly right. The horse here is just is awesome. All right. Here's your amateur four-year-old. Kenny Compton is in there. He's, yeah. a good, he's on a real good horse. He's on a great horse, no yeah. doubt about it. Great car. He does a little bit of everything, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. When I first looked in there, I thought that was Jerry Beatty. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real good class. I'm going to tell you, they had a, a a good show up there. And that place is is nice. I mean, it's... It is. He did. I mean, he, he put together a good place to have a horse show. Yeah. No doubt about it. There's Kenny Compton. He did good. Right here is ladies amateur. That's a nice horse that Sarah riding. I tell you what, Sarah Coffee. Yeah. And and I'll say it, and if I make somebody mad, I just make them mad. She is not getting, in my opinion, she's not getting her real just to yeah. do in all these classes. I've seen her make some well of a show and get third or fourth. Oh, yeah. And uh, she, it's just like this right here. That horse is. is Flap's sitting there walking. And he's in there with some good ones. Yes. But thanks for cash. Muggsy is in there. Versace's dollars in there. Cutting in line. The Dow. Master Stormy Jazz. I'm Jones. Jose's Silver Dollar. I'm I'm telling you, they had a, 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 real, a, a real show down there. Hey, they, mean, they had some great horses across the board. Yeah. And, uh, and we're really going to see a great one when we come back from commercial, I can yeah. tell you that. Because we're going to see probably, in my opinion, one of the best state classes we've seen this year. Oh, yeah. As far as the state class mm -hmm. now. There was only four horses in it, but they was four good, good horses. horses. Yeah. And that's something. We'll be right back after we take this short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me at Life Care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. 
Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walkinghorsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. Now we're fixing to go watch a heck of a class. Yep, it was. So, it, it was a real good class. Hey, no doubt about it. Let's go on to our championship state class. Down, Scott Baby. Right here it is. I'm going to tell you, we had Kobe 24 with Chris Elton, the Iron Door, Nick Price, Pocket Time Scott Beatty, and Boss on Gin, Brandon Givings. Now I'm here to I was really, really impressed with Iron Door. Iron Door was good. Hey, I thought Iron Door was, and that one right there was a piece of work. Yeah. Uh, I love the head shake. I love. I, I just love everything about that horse. Yeah. Uh, and I loved everything about Iron Door too. Iron Door. I'm gonna be like a kid in a candy store now. I like them all. Yep, every one of them horses is real nice horses. But if you watch them, watch the way they're going. Each one of them got their way of, of showing what they are. You are you exactly right. Nick does a real good job. He he's doing a real good job there. I thought he did Brandon. super. Brandon, I, all of them. I could sit here and brag on all of them all night long. Scott and Chris Helton, I tell you, Chris is a super guy. I mean, he is. He, Every conversation I've had with him, I I felt good about it because yeah, he, he just I mean, him and Lexi both. They just two good people. <laughs> two good people. They're real good people. Nick, I mean, he's real nice. All of them right there. In that class, it ain't really, it ain't a shabby horse in that class right there. No, it is. It is I mean, a, that's right. I'm hoping that we have those and about six or seven, maybe. I'm it tickle me if we had ten like this in each one of our stud classes in yeah. celebration, and then come back with ten or fifteen of them in the state Big class. Yeah. It would just tickle me to death because we would really have make a statement with this caliber of horse. That's right. I guess the oldest one was in there was Scott Bates. Probably. So the other one was young, they, yeah, oh, younger. They younger trainers young. in there. Yeah. They took advantage of an old man. Oh, Is that old what man, you're yeah. saying? <laughs> I'm going to tell Scott Bates what you said. <laughs> I tell you what, they uh, looking good is all yes. I can say. They look good. That's a beautiful horse. Yeah, he is. And that right there, I was real impressed oh, with. Yeah. Now. Sarah ought to be Pocket awful time. proud of that. Yeah. Scott Bailey in the irons for Donald Robinson Cookville. Pocket time in 450 is third. 
Fourth award of 435, Ball Sun Chin. Well, I tell you one thing. That was a heck of a horse show. It was. It those was those horses, horses right there looked great all the way across, no doubt about it. Uh, I thought Kobe was outstanding. But those other three, you there was no, oh, no yeah. slouch no in, in there. there. That's None. Right. I mean, it was one of the ones that keep you on your toes. Well, what's going on now? We This weekend, we got people coming just to ride horses. Uh, then we got a, the fun show coming up yeah. the end of this month. Matter of fact, this is what the th this is next week, It'll be week after It'll this be weekend, yeah. be the following Bunch. week. So mm -hmm. we'll be doing some good big horse sale. Yeah, Bunch they'll have out on six Columbia. Then we, we got Columbia, mm -hmm. Spring Jubilee. Have they named the judges for that yet? I haven't heard. I haven't either. I haven't, I haven't seen anything where they named them, so I wasn't sure whether it whether they did or 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 not. But I do know we got a lot going on, a lot of places going on, a lot of different activities going on. Yeah. We got uh, the Tweeba is wanting to set up a, a date that they can come to after Uncle Nearest yeah. and uh, do some stuff for the Tweeba to get more youth in it. Yeah. Uh, and just different things. I know a lot of them are talking about going out and talking to uh, the people at Pleasant Valley about having a horse show out there, which I think is a great idea. Uh, just different things just different going things on. different things going on. We think about having one out there at Uncle Neary's out there. You know, that'd be a good, that would be a good one to have, really. And what, what we need is everybody to call in and make suggestions on things we can do, because we need to bring horse shows back. I'd love to see one come back to Winchester. Yes. They got mm -hmm. a great facility over there. It's inside. So if it rains, it ain't going to hurt. You can still have the horse show. But I'd love to see one come back over there. Uh, I know we got one coming up in Manchester. But we really need somebody from Moore County to bring back the Moore County show. Yeah. That was always a super good show down there. Grant you, sometimes it rained. You had to head for higher ground <laughs> <laughs> and you had to head for higher ground in a hurry but Chevyville is growing you know and a lot of different people coming in and yep. a lot of different things is coming to the to the town and everything so you know I think the horse business is going to pick up I believe it and it's picking up already I mean it's, I do too I'm Jerry I'm getting calls honestly from people all over the place I've got calls from California I've got calls from Colorado I've got calls from Indiana uh, places that, you know, are f far away from here, but they're talking about Tennessee walking horse. Lady from Colorado told me, she said, if you want a great trail horse, she said, you have to come to Tennessee to get it. Yes. And I've sent different people, I've sent them to you, I've yeah. sent them to Robbie Spiller, sent them, sent them to the Tibbs. Uh, we've got the horses. Oh, you, All we got to do is the people come and see them and come get on them kind of like commercial now ride one today on one tomorrow yep. and right there is a prime example of what we can do yeah and right right there is more fun than you ever dreamed and i guarantee you 99 out of 100 of those horses are tennessee walking oh, horses yeah. the majority of them is and the, the lady i was talking to today was talking about the hills and things that they they climb. Well, some of the fun of this is going up them steep hills and coming down them. Uh, you know, I took the other day, about two weeks ago, I sold four horses to some people out in Arizona. They come down here and pick them up and took them to Arizona to go ride trail riding with. Well, trail riding is big all over the country. Right there you go, doubling, but that horse kicks. That, he had that flag on that tail. Yeah. But don't you look there, if you don't think you can get with a group of people on a weekend and go out and have a good time, you just, you, you ain't in the right place. You're right. Because this right here, Tennessee, is the place to go trail riding. And War Trace, you know where all the vehicles yeah. park. Well, there's a place where you can go down from the road, go down into the creek, and then back up into that parking lot. Uh -huh. That's a trip. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like a roller coaster. 
I'd love to know how many people went down that didn't make it back, back up, up. <laughs> <laughs> get off their horse or whatever. It it makes it it makes it wild. But the the just the, showing that video right there shows people exactly what kind of fun you can have in Tennessee on a Tennessee walking that, horse. You're exactly right. Them horses, you can do anything with them horses. I mean, if you want to get out there and rip and run, you can do it. And, you know and. Well, I think the the trail riding is one of the best things, but we've also got horses that enter the, especially the extreme cowboy competition. And we were told that our horse didn't belong in it. And that was until it went out and won. Tracy yeah. Penson did that. But then you 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 got the the uh, obstacle course that you can run. There's so many different things that you can go through. Yes. The versatility in all of this. And the Tennessee walking horse is the ideal horse to do this with. People just have to bear with it, get with it, and go out. Because a little bit of work. It's just like when we was putting sci-fi in the water. He'd never been in running water, but he went right off into it. The thing with this horse right here, they can do anything another other horse can do, but what the other horse can't do, they can't gate sit back and gate like this horse can. No, no. They cannot gate, you know, and, and that's one thing. And that smooth gate, and I talked to some people that, like out west, that rode in the hills and stuff. This horse right here will walk, and just keep walking, and just keep going, because it really doesn't strain itself. Right there was a legend in the horse industry. That was Ronald Young taking the flag. Yep, that was, and Ronald was big in this. Uh, everybody, everybody wants to try different things, but this right here, this is what makes the Tennessee walking horse stand out above all other horses. And I never realized how they did this until I went down to Bobby McNatt's and he told me, he said, Jerry said, your horse will do that. I said, it will. And said, sure. I said, Knows him into that wall right there. And it's the easiest thing in the world to make them do it. Oh, yeah. Teach them leg pressure, how to go yeah. away from the leg and all that stuff. Well, they learn quick. They're smart. Like the ladies with, was doing the uh, the trick horses, teaching yeah. them tricks. She said, I don't know if them walking horses can do it. And then she said, but now that's all we use is a walking horse. So that's that's the horse we want. Well, fella, you lost your hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can tell you is you lost your hat. <laughs> but it is. Those, those things are fun. That's what people like to do. And that's what Tennessee walking horses are good to do. That's right. So, i tell you what, Jerry. We're going to go ahead and close out this show. But we'll next week we're going to have some more. And I don't know what we'll come up with. There ain't no telling. Maybe we'll... Uh, Maybe we'll go trail riding. Might we we'll, We can do that. All we right. can do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week with another episode of What a Horse. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.